Good morning, and thank you all so much for spending this hour of your day with us here at the Houston MBDA. Welcome to the Houston Minority Business Development Agency's Virtual Subs and Sandwiches. Today, we will hear from Ms. Veronica Douglas, who serves as Houston Community College's uh, Procurement Small Business Development uh, Officer, and uh, we're excited to hear all that they have to offer from that department. Uh, I am Marshat Turner Ray. I serve as the director of the Houston Minority Business Development Agency and delighted that you all are here with us today. Here at the Houston MBDA, we are always eager uh, to inform you about opportunities that await you. And of course, we hope you're taking advantage of those opportunities as they're presented to you. That's one of the reasons that we started this platform to allow MBEs an opportunity to hear from corporate America, uh, as well as city, county, and state procurement departments, along with educational institutions and other thriving MBEs. So before we jump into the webinar today, you should know that during today's webinar, all attendees will be in listen-only mode. There will be Q&A at the end of this session where my team and I will be asking Ms. Veronica the questions that you all type into the chat. So please also note that this presentation is being recorded and will be made available via the Houston MBDA YouTube channel after this morning's webinar concludes. Let me uh, see some hand claps and hearts for my amazing team. Come on, come on, come on. Hand clap and heart. Let me see it. Let me see it. Uh, for Ms. Jessica Vasquez, who serves as our program coordinator, Ms. Deirdre Sutton, who serves as a business advisor, and our newest team member, Ms. Tamala Austin, who also serves as a business advisor. Thank you all so much. I see the hand claps and hearts. We appreciate you all. So let us now prepare our hearts uh, and minds to receive uh, Ms. Veronica Douglas of HCC Procurement Small Business Development. So Ms. Veronica, take it away. Good afternoon, and thank you, Marchette, for allowing me to speak today to your members. It's an honor, and we really, truly enjoy working with you and everybody that is a part of the NBDA Business Center. Um, so, as Marchette said, I'm a member of the Small Business Development Program here at HCC. Go to the next slide, please. So, real quickly, our agenda today will be we'll virtually meet the Procurement and Small Business Development Program team. We'll have a high level overview of the small business development program and the requirements to participate. We'll talk about the bidder registration and the procurement methods that we use here at the college. We'll look at our current bid opportunities that are on our website and they're waiting for your bid. And then lastly, we'll talk about our on site catering program, which is managed through a third party provider known as America to go. So this is a look at the procurement team and the small business development program. Um, this picture was actually taken in March. Every year for the past nine years, we have held a in-person expo that allows our business community to come in and um, introduce themselves to the procurement team and our end users. That allows them an opportunity to, to get to know us a little bit better and to share the services that they provide. Um, this particular year, we reversed it where we invited in 30 of our contracted small business uh, enterprises to come in and meet with the end users and the procurement team and the decision makers at the college in an effort to strengthen that relationship and get to know us on a more personal level. Um, every year, we have at least 200 attendees participate in this. So. Keep an eye out next March. We may go back to the old format where we invite in all of the community. So a little bit about the small business development program. Um, it was designed to stimulate the growth of our local small businesses, as well as encourage small business par participation in all phases of the procurement process. We know that we have a really diverse community here throughout the Houston Metroplex. And we are truly committed to increasing the level of participation of our small businesses. Um, the program was designed to increase procurement activities for not only small businesses, but underutilized businesses as well as disadvantaged businesses. 
Now our program does apply to contracts over $50,000 with the exception of sole source contracts, contracts that are federally funded, contracts with other governmental agencies, which we do also put goals on those and ask that the prime contractors meet those, and then contracts that are otherwise prohibited by law. Um, it applies to purchases under $50,000 as well, and that is where we gain a lot of ground. Under $50,000 purchases, we source out to our local small businesses that are certified, and I'll let you know where we find those names as we go through the presentation. Um, we do have an annual goal of 35% every year. Um, we have exceeded that annual 35% goal for the last nine years. You can access information about the Small Business Development Program directly on our website, which is hccs.edu slash SBDP. Since it is a small business program, it is a race and gender neutral program. We provide training and networking opportunities. We are currently working on a schedule for our district wide seminars. We have nine districts here throughout the community. Um, and as we visit with each of those districts in person, we will have on site supplier registration. We'll talk about ways to win contracts. We'll bring along our community partners that can assist with certification, and they also have procurement opportunities for certified businesses. And then we'll also talk about general procurement practices. Um, we are not a state agency, so we do not recognize the hub certification, um, HMSDC or WBEA certifications. However, I do suggest if you are certified through one of those agencies that you contact them directly and you ask them to fast track your certification through the city of Houston. That is a service that they will offer and that is a certification that we recognize. And lastly, we're not a certification agency. We recognize the certifications from six different agencies. So speaking about the certifications that we recognize, again, they're all small business with the exception of the city of Houston. So we recognize the SBE from Metro. From the city of Houston, a few years ago, we expanded the certifications that we recognize to not only recognize the SBE, but the MBE, the WBE, the PDBE, and the DBE. From TxDOT, City of Austin, and South Central Texas Regional Certification Agency, we recognize the SBE. And then from the Small Business Administration, we recognize the 8A only certification. Certification is not required to do business with HCC, but it is another tool in your toolbox that will help you gain advantage um, in a solicitation process. And it also allows you to receive other bid bidding opportunities throughout um, HCC. So this is a look at one of the ways that a SBE certification can um, assist you in being a successful supplier on a formal solicitation, we have project specific goals. So if the project is a construction project, we have a 35% SBE participation goal. If it's a services project, we have a 25% SBE goal. If there's minimal availability for subcontracting opportunity on the project, there's a 5% goal. So how does that assist you as a certified small business? If you look over to the right, you'll see that we have evaluation criteria that is on all of our formal solicitations. Aside from the firm's qualifications, past um, experience and performance, and the price, we give 15 points for small business practices. That is more than any points are given for other agencies here in our local community. So how would you get 15 points on this specific project? Well, the, the way to get to the 15 points is if you are a SBE vendor conducting the work, you're automatically receive 10 points. 
if you are a SBE certified vendor um, as a prime that is subcontracting out the 25% that is stated in the project, as we see on the screen, you'll get an additional five points. So in essence, two certified small businesses will get 15 points working on our project. Um, the only other way to get points on this project is to be a non-certified vendor subcontracting out the stated project goal. So that's just one way that you can gain advantage and ground at HCC to do business with us. So most importantly, the one of the things that you really need to do if you want to get engaged and involved with HCC's procurements is to register on our website as a bidder. The registration can be located at hccs.edu slash procurement. Go to the next slide. It's very important that when you log on to our website that you see the HCC logo in the upper left hand corner. Many agencies in the area use bonfire, so it's really easy to get our application confused with other applications with other agencies. You can go to the next slide. We do require that you upload a W-9 and a conflict of interest. If you have your SBE certification handy, you can upload that as well. It is not a requirement and the certificate of insurance is not a requirement either. Just make sure as you go through the application that each of the steps is green and that allows you to know that your application has been accepted and received in the portal. If you stop at any time throughout the application process, make sure you go back to complete it. Otherwise, your application is not submitted into our bonfire database. Another important step that a lot of agents uh, that a lot of businesses forget, and that is to select commodity codes. This is extremely important that you select at least five to seven commodity codes. The commodity codes are what drives the solicitation notice out to the supplier. So make sure if you are in construction that you pick, you know, construction, general contracting, painting, um, duct work, flooring, anything or any service or commodity that your business provides, make sure that you pick a code for it. These codes are only going to allow you to receive bid notices from HCC that we put out when we select those commodity codes. In the event that you feel like you're receiving too many bid notices from us, you can always revisit your um, bonfire application and back off some of those codes. A little bit about the procurement purchasing thresholds here at the college. Um, we have a little bit of higher thresholds in some agencies in the area. And what I mean by that is only one quote is required for purchases up to $9,999.99. From $10,000 all the way to $49,999, three quotes are required. And again, as I said, this is where we gain a lot of spend with our SBEs. Between the 10,000 mark and 49,999 mark, we solicit to our SBE suppliers. Over $50,000, according to the law, we're required to post an advertisement in our local newspaper, as well as perform a um, competitive procurement process. That's either a request for proposal, invitation for bid, a request for a qualification, or a request for uh, RFPC, which is used in constructions. Our board of trustees is required to approve all purchases over 100,000, but any purchase under 100,000, procurement has the authority to make that award. Some of the solicitation methods that we use here at the college are quite common throughout government procurement. Um, the first is an invitation for bid that's typically utilized for commodities. And that award is made on the basis of the most responsive, responsible, lowest price bidder. Another one that we use is called a request for proposal. Those are typically used for services. 
and that goes on a best value award basis, and that is awarded to the most responsive, responsible proposal. That is where you are going to see that evaluation criteria that we talked about come into play. Everyone that, uh, res that responds on our RFPs, the goal is to get to 100 points. So, as I said earlier, two certified small businesses working together can get 15 points right out the gate on our RFPs. And the last one that we use is called a request for qualifications. This is a two step process where we look at your qualifications first, and then we go back and we look at your price. Um, these are used for professional services, which is typically um, a service that requires a license, such as an architect, an engineer, a real estate broker, or appraiser. Um, we utilize here at HCC cooperatives and interlocals. If you're not familiar with what a cooperative is, it's a, a third party agency that essentially meets the requirements of the state uh, as far as bidding laws go. And they will put out a variety of solicitations and that allows government agencies to utilize them. Um, I found working in the community that there are, are a lot of businesses that actually have a contract with one of the agencies that you see on the screen, and they don't know what to do with that. If you are awarded a, a contract through Choice Partners or HGAC or perhaps um, TIPS, which is the Interlocal Purchasing System, if you have one of those contracts that you've been awarded, you want to make it known to other government agencies that you hold that contract because we can essentially piggyback off that. Um, the same goes for if you have a contract with another local government agency, such as Metro or the city of Houston, we have authorization to piggyback off those contracts as well. And when I say piggyback, I mean, we have the authority to utilize those contracts with the same terms and conditions that were awarded to you. So make sure that you let any agency know that you wanna do business with, that you hold one of these cooperative contracts or that you have a contract with another government agency such as Metro or the city of Houston. That also allows us to use those contracts without getting any additional quotes. So this is a look at the solicitations that we currently have on our website. We have quite a few and we add to this list on a daily basis as we are nearing to our year end. Um, the first one is a request for uh, qualifications. It's an upcoming solicitation notice and it's for real estate appraiser services. The next one is a um, upcoming solicitation notice and this one will be posted again. Oh, it's already posted, I apologize. Um, it's for entertainment and novelty services. What we're looking for is that the, the vendors to come to us and give us ideas and let us know how we can properly solicit this, and then they'll send out a actual solicitation after we have the meeting. Um, we have a request for quote for safety and security locking door hardware retrofit. This is package one of two. Um, these packages right here are only being solicited to cooperative vendors. So if you hold a cooperative contract for safety and security locking door hardware retrofit, this is an opportunity for you. We have a request for quote out for an automatic transfer switch gear upgrade at our district administration building. A request for quote, that means that this project is under $50,000. It's a quick quote. We have another request for quote to co-op vendors only. That's what the co-op means. And that looks like package number three for safety security locking door hardware. On the right, you can see when each of these packages closes. We have an RFP out for library management system. Again, there'll be evaluation criteria. The, the goal is to make it to 100 points on this solicitation. We have an RFP out for a higher education, non-credit, Continuing Education Registration Solution, a request for quote to co-op vendors only, and that again is for safety and security locking door hardware. There's three other of those co-op quotes. 
We have a RFP C, which is a request for proposal for commodities for 2024 pickup trucks. An RFP C, which again is request for proposal for our commodities for a pre owned dry van trailer. An RF quote for safety, security, locking door hardware. Those are currently on our website. If you're interested in bidding on those projects, all of our solicitations come in electronically. You can also ask questions directly on our website to our buyers and they will get answered. Um, and lastly, uh, we have a very robust catering program here at HCC. We spend almost a million dollars yearly on catering um, services. Uh, America to go is a 3rd party agency that manages this program. You can become a part of the program simply by emailing Vivian Borden at America to go.com. From that point, Vivian will uh, get a copy of your menu. Come out and take a look at your catering or restaurant operation, and then you'll be inserted into a portal where all of the HCC staff can utilize your catering services. And that, and that, that it, it, that it is. It. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Veronica. Um, uh, Miss Tamala, are there any questions in the chat? Yes, let's see. I think we do have a few here. Let's see. Okay, so there's one here that says, are there any insurance requirements to bid for the projects? For commodities, no. Uh, if it is a service, we require the state of Texas um, limits on certificates of insurance because you'll be coming onto our property doing work. So you will need to have at a minimum the, the requirements from the state of Texas. Now on our catering program, we have um, reduced the requirements for insurance um, to participate in that program. If you don't have, for example, um, automobile insurance, which some of our caterers do not, we realize that there are some small businesses participating in the program. You can still participate in the program. Um, the HCC staff would either need to come to your facility to pick up the food, or you would need to meet us just right outside HCC property. All right. And the next insurance, question is, let me just add 1 other thing to that insurance, Tamala mm -hmm. um, insurance is not required until you start doing the work. So, if you see a project that you're interested in bidding on throughout the through the college, don't run and go get a certificate of insurance and pay for insurance that you may or may not use because you don't know if you're going to be awarded the project. Simply mm -hmm. make sure that you can get the coverage and you can cover the cost of the coverage. So in the event that you are awarded that project that you can obtain the coverage. Okay. Okay. Does HCC post their procurement forecast? Yes, we do every year in January. You can go to our website. It's called um, the procurement plan. If you go to hccs.edu slash procurement, Look for the procurement plan, and that's a high level overview of all of our projects. It doesn't encompass nearly the amount of projects we really do. Those are just the anticipated projects, and that is posted every January. And is there a way for small businesses um, to become a vendor with HCC? That way they can stay um, informed on new. Um, procurement opportunities that come weekly, monthly, how, how can one register to be a vendor? Yes, so we call them bidders. A vendor is someone we're actually contracting with and paying for their services or their goods. But um, what you're asking about is becoming a bidder and you can do that through the bonfire portal, hccs.edu slash procurement. Any any um, service or commodity that you're interested in providing to the college, you'll pick a commodity code for that service or commodity, and then you'll receive an email notification whenever we have procurements come up. Mm 
Let's see if there was anything else. Does HCC recognize veteran-owned certi certifications? At this point, we don't. Our program is a small business program, but we do, like I mentioned earlier, recognize the minority, the woman, the person with disadvantaged disabilities, I'm sorry, um, and the disadvantaged businesses. We do have a veterans entrepreneurship program so you can always go back to the college's website and visit um, that program and see what types of opportunities they have for you there. But as far as the certification, we currently do not recognize it. Okay. Someone asked, um, I relocated recently to Brazoria County. Am I still under the Houston chapter or is there one in my area? I'm not sure what you mean by Houston chapter, um, yeah. but you, anyone can do business with us here at the college, regardless of if you're certified or you're not. Um, as far as certification, you want to refer back to the city or metro or what certifi whatever certification agency you receive that certification through. I would refer that back to them, but anyone can do business with HCC. Yeah, and I think uh, Veronica, she was. Uh, probably referring more to her geographic location uh, because she says she recently uh, relocated to Brazoria County. Uh, is she still under the Houston chapter? Um, I think we're all confused about the Houston chapter part, um, but as Veronica said, yes, you can still do business with HCC. <laughs> mm -hmm. We do businesses with uh, agencies that are international as well. So you don't even have to be in the state of Texas to do business with the college. Okay. Okay. I think that's all I see out there. I think that is it. Um, oh, here's one. Um, SBE is just for construction related companies if it is okay is it okay if one has wbe and mbe through the city mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes. it's our program now to uh recognize the wbe mbe pdbe and dbe certifications And then Ms. Uh, Bulware, hello, Ms. Bulware. Um, she did uh, make a comment, veteran certifications fall under uh, persons with disabilities business enterprise uh, through the city of Houston. So thank you so much for that observation, Jeanette. Um, I think this, uh, I, yeah, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Um, Mr. Cardenas, um, at a recent HCC matchmaker event, I was told once registered to complete a conflict of interest form, who should receive that document once, uh, it's registered. Wait, who, wait, what? Who should receive that document once it's completed? So you want to upload that document into your bonfire profile. We'll go back and we'll retrieve it from there. And then another question, are there ways to engage or network with HCC outside of being a bidder? This is to build a rapport. Like I said, we go into the community and we exhibit at a variety of chamber and community partner events. Um, we are hosting district wide seminars where we'll bring out buyers and end users. And then we also host meet and greets where you can have a virtual meeting with um, myself, the small business development program and someone from our sourcing uh, area. And, and I would just add to that. Um, that that is a great way to physically meet. 
um, our procurement department is at those meet and greets. I mean, they're out in the community, they're available, they're amenable. So it's certainly a good way to make that physical connection because as we all know, people tend to do business with people they know, like, and trust. So if you are attending uh, the HCC events and you see Veronica or other team members out, you know, go up to them, speak, hello, my name is so-and-so, um, trying to become a vendor, uh, you know, so again, be approachable because because they certainly are. So yeah, that's a great way to meet them. And we will be at your event next month. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. And you led me into that segue, so thank you. <laughs> so what Veronica is uh, alluding to is the inaugural salute gala celebration, which will take place on Friday, June 21st, 2024. Ms. Jeanette Bulware, who is on this call, is one of our honorees, as well as Ms. Jessica Vasquez, who's also on this call, uh, another honoree. We are really excited this year. We have transitioned uh, this event from an afternoon luncheon to a formal evening gala. So you can get all dressed up in your formal gowns and tuxedos and meet us at the Norris Center, which is located 816 Town and Country Boulevard, uh, here in Houston, Texas, again on Friday, June 21st. Um, uh, uh, what else do I want to say? Oh, the VIP reception starts at 6 p.m. Now, this year is a little different because if you are buying an individual ticket, you have to buy the $200 ticket in order to be a part of the VIP reception. If you don't really want to be a part of the VIP reception, that's fine with us. Regular tickets, individual tickets, are simply $125. So we certainly want you um, to go ahead and register for the gala, be a part, come out and celebrate all of our uh, honorees because they are very well deserving um, of such recognition and particularly uh, because this is a gala event. So, you know, we are really, really excited and working hard. Of course, if you wanna purchase a table, feel free to give us a call, send us an email, um, our emails are on the screen, or you can send it to our general mailbox, which is checked all day, every day. So, however you want to come and celebrate with us, please feel free to do so. Um, we're, we're certainly looking forward to seeing each and every one of you on Friday, June 21st. Get your tickets today before we sell out, because I assure you we will. Uh, and as Veronica said, um, our procurement department is the best, and I would certainly put them up against any other procurement department. Uh, they are avid supporters of the Houston MBDA, and of course, we're avid supporters of theirs, but just a great working relationship. So again, please, please, please uh, go to the Houston MBDA website at mbda at hccs.edu, click on the calendar button, and there you will get all the information you need um, to register for our inaugural salute gala celebration again on Friday, June 21st, 2024 at the Norris Centers. So are there any other questions? I don't think so. Don't you. Oh, I'm sorry. One last question, Veronica. How can we find prime contractors already doing business with HCC? Find prime contractors that are already doing business with HCC under uh, on our website under the archive bids tab. We give uh, the name of the project as well as who the prime is and who it was awarded to. Um, if you need additional information from there, you could always request an open records request and then you could provide we would receive even more detailed information. But right under the archive bids tab, that is where we have all of our awarded contracts with the contract information, such as the price and who is the prime. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Veronica, you always leave us with so much information. I mean, I've jotted down notes and all of that good stuff because I'm certain uh, that we will get calls here in our office. So that's why I always uh, take notes. But thank you so much for this. I mean, just exquisite. Uh, PowerPoint. Somebody asked if it would be available. Yes, it will be on the Houston MBDA YouTube channel, 
which you can visit, uh, give us about an hour uh, for our social media person to upload it. But yes, it will be on YouTube and you can see it again there and get all the information. So thank you all so much. We appreciate your time and look forward to the next one. Thanks, Veronica. Thank you.